Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Anchor. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to share some uh, easy paper roses that I made to go on a wedding gift tag this last weekend, as well as some alternative versions. So, let's get started. First, I've used layering circles to cut my cardstock. This is just basic white. And then I'm going to use my paper snips and cut all the way around here. This will take just a moment. For this first one, I want you to see all of the steps. And almost around. We need to continue our spiral. Does not matter if um, the edges are really smooth. You'll notice here I've got a little uh, bit of a angle on it. In the end that doesn't matter. Now I do like to start with my bone folder and soften the first part of this spiral. It makes winding it up a little bit easier. And then I have a quilling tool, and you just slide this into a notch. If you don't have that, if you've got something uh, with a point on it that you can uh, spin it around on. Okay. As we get closer to that center portion, you'll have to move that inside piece, and then I'm going to carefully wiggle that out. And then we're going to take this piece and move it around. Now, you've got a really tight rose here, but we can also allow that to open some. Okay, and I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet here and put a dot of glue down from my hot glue gun and put the end in there and then put another little dot of glue on the inside and just hold this a minute. My glue's been heating over here, so it may take another second for it to hold because it's very hot. Okay, so there's our first rose. I'm going to set that aside here. And how about if you would like a little rose bud? So I've used the smallest layering circle, just finding my notch again, and going to roll that up on here. Size does matter. So if you want larger roses, you use larger dies. So you've got this little rose bud. And again, you can uh, leave it tight, which I like to do with my rose buds. So let's just bring that in here. And this time I'm just going to add the glue on the inside here and try not to burn my fingers on camera. because I want to hold that nice and small. Okay, so let's put this back over here on the side. Now, I've also used the scalloped uh, circle dies, and I thought you'd like to see what a rose looks like using them. Okay. So, again, we're just going to take this and roll this around. And this gives a pretty little edge to your flower. Now the problem comes that you get to this point where you're going to end up with plain. So I'm going to tear that off and hold this and pretend like I've got maybe three hands and put a dot of multi-purpose glue here. And add my 
scalloped piece from another circle cut in the same size. Now you don't have to make sure that that uh, glued piece is the same size. You'll notice that I put the pointed end right on there because it's going to be hidden on the inside of the flower. Okay, and then I'm going to tear this off again. And this time, let's bring my silicone craft sheet in and I'm going to put a, a dot here and we're going to let that unfold to the size that we want, okay? And then put a dot of glue in here, just the multi-purpose works perfectly. You can use hot glue if you want. And then we're just going to set this right down in that hot glue and give it a second to, to cool and hold that, okay? Whoops, gotta hold that multi-purpose too. But then you get a pretty little edge on your rose. I'll show you all of this at the end. Let me set this aside and we'll move on to the next one. Just trying to make sure that everybody's going to sit over here on my the edge. Okay, so next I've got, let me toss my scraps out of the way. I've just used a slightly smaller circle. You don't have to. And again, I'm going to soften the beginning of this as it makes it just a little easier to spin it around. And let's get this wound up. Pull that off and we're just gonna wind this last bit around by hand. Okay, and I'm going to let that unfold a little bit. And of course you can do these in varying sizes, which is where the layering circles are great. Um, and if you don't know those layering circles, all of them fit in the mini stamp and cut and emboss. And during March, 2022, that machine is on sale. You can find a link to my store if you want to check it out in the description below the video. Now I'm just holding this a minute so that it cools. And then I've got my Stampin' Spritzer that's got alcohol. It does not matter whether it's 71% 70 or 90%, and we're just going to spritz. And I prefer alcohol because it dries quickly, and you're just going to give that a little bit of a mash and the alcohol softens that cardstock so that you get kind of a um, a different style rose with that little bit of a mashed edge as opposed to this very clean edge. Okay, and then I've got one more for you over here. Let me get hot glue gun and everything out of the way one last time. So this time I've got the white and a piece of petal pink, and I'm going to cut them together. This is, as you can imagine, just a little harder cut, not hard hard, but you've got two layers that you're cutting through with your paper snips. So it'll take just another minute. Okay. And again, I'm going to take my bone folder and soften. I'm going to soften a little further on this one because we're dealing with two layers of cardstock. Okay. And then let's grab that quilling tool again. and see if we can catch both of these. Not going to 
going to be able to do that. So I'm going to pull my take your pick tool out and use the point of my take your pick to get this started. Do be careful of the pointed end of your take your pick. And this just takes a little more to get it started. And that's why the softening is so important. And now I'm just going to roll by hand, carefully, carefully, so that I'm keeping that, those two pieces together. Okay. And let's come on around here and get these fold it up in my bottom, and you do then want to crunch this a little bit with your fingers. Okay, and I'm going to let that open. And again, let's, I want a dot of glue down here on the bottom, and then I want some glue inside here, and I'm going to hold that a moment so that everybody is stuck in place. Oops, it's continuing to unwind. As I said, I preheated my glue gun so the glue is very hot, which means it doesn't cool off quite as fast. And again, I'm going to spritz with my alcohol and I'm going to mash this so that we get a little bit of, we want to bring those edges around and play with it a little bit so that you get that kind of two-tone effect that you get with some roses. This would be gorgeous with the petal pink and maybe some of the gold specialty paper. And let's mash that inside around. Okay, so there we are. We've got our little flower the bud here and our basic and then here with the um, with the scalloped edge and then our two that we've mashed a little bit a little two-tone here and then just the plain rose thanks for joining me today this was sarah levin the artful inker of the artful give this video a thumbs up and share it with your card making friends if you're in the United States, you can find the link to my Stampin' Up! store in the description below the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell, and you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Have a great day. Bye!